What if I told you that you could use your Xamarin Forms custom renderers without any code changes in your .NET MAUI application? It can be done. Let's check out how to do it. Alrighty then, so here we are in Visual Studio 2022. It's gonna take me a while to get adjusted to not saying 2019. Um, but here we are in 2022. Um, and here you can see a file new Xamarin Forms application running. Well, not quite file new. I've added one thing. Um, look closely, it might be a bit hard to see. Um, so no, every label is green, right? So we'll see about that. Um, you can see it on the left in um, the XAML page. On the right, you can see it running on the Android emulator. Now already a little disclaimer, the Android emulator is not running great on my Windows machine. So if you see um, kind of like uh, performance issues, that is totally my machine in combination with this Android emulator and has nothing to do with the, the Forms app or the MAUI app that we are about to see. Um, so the thing I did was implement a custom render because you can have a custom render in your Xamarin Forms app, right? I have a video on custom renders that as well. It should pop up on your screen right now, or you can find it down below in the video description if you want to know more about that. Um, but from here, I'm going to assume that you know what it does. Um, so I have that here, our label render, um, which is um, for Android. I'm going to show you the Android one. Of course, this also works for iOS. Um, but here we have this for Android and it's a very simple render because if you have like a real live render in your application, it's probably much bigger than this. You know all about it. You put a lot of love in there because uh, you know, um, you wanted that thing customized. Um, but this just changes the control uh, background color to light green. Um, so this uses the label render um, um, for Android. It's uh, applied to the label here. Um, so that's all it does, right? And you can see it works here on Android. Every label has a light green background. Now, that is all cool, but you can use this exact same render in your .NET MAUI app. How cool is that? So if you're going to transition to .NET MAUI, but you're worried like, hey, I have a lot of custom renders going on. How is that going to work? Don't worry. You don't need to rewrite them all to the new um, handler um, architecture. There will be more videos on that as well. Um, you don't have to convert them all right away. You can first import all your renders without having to change any code any functional code, um, you can just use them and then go port them over one by one to go slowly towards like a native .NET MAUI app. So how we're going to do that, that's what I'm going to show you right now in this video. So this is this is our render, right? Um, and to show you I'm not cheating, I'm going to create a .NET MAUI app right here. Um, so I have the folder open, which has this project right here. Um, so let me open a command window. So in the uh, address bar here, I can just type CMD and it will bring up a little thing here. And I can say .NET new uh, MAUI and I will do dash N so I can give it a name. Um, and I will name this MAUI custom renderer. Um, sample, let's make it something like that. Enter and we'll think for a little and there we have our um, .NET MAUI app so I can exit this terminal. Um, and here you can see a new folder was added, the MAUI custom render sample with a new solution, uh, the projects that are needed for our .NET MAUI um, thing right here. Let me quickly copy this as um, a path, there we go. I have another instance of Visual Studio 2022, so let me um, open a project or solution, paste in the folder here, and I'm getting my MAUI app, right? So uh, this is all preview bits, so there are some weird errors going on here, but um, my MAUI app is coming up. Let's select the Android emulator right here so I can run that as well. Um, and let's actually just see this running. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put this to the side just like I did for the other one. So we can see the emulator nice and clean, here we go. Um, get this out of the way. Here's our emulator. And I'm just going to click run so we can first see the file new um, MAUI template basically. And then I'm going to just copy over the renderer. Of course, there's a little thing involved that you need to do, but I'll walk you through it um, how to do exactly that. Um, so, and then you can see that you can use your custom renderer from Xamarin Forms in .NET MAUI without any hassle. All right, so here we go. Our app is being deployed to the Android emulator. You can see it going on right here. Nice .NET splash screen. I think we're getting the 
.NET bot as well. Um, like I said, the emulator is a little bit slow on my machine, so apologies for that. Um, I typically work on um, a Mac, which um, um, is great, which works uh, good for me, so I have that set up. Um, but right now, you know, all the Maui bits uh, work better with Visual Studio 2022 here on Windows. Um, Mac, of course, is coming, don't worry about that. Um, so here we have this Hello World thing, right? Looks cool, looks great. Um, Cool. But now we want to make our labels all green here as well, right? With that same custom render. So let's see, go over here to our solution explorer. And um, if you've already looked into Maui a little bit, then you know that this is now all a single project, right? So our iOS, our Android, our UWP, all the projects are living in the same project. Well, UWP still has a separate project, but that will disappear whenever .NET Maui will become generally available. Um, but for now we have these kind of platform things here. Um, and here we have this platform folder with Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst, because we still need um, a little bit of separate files, right? Um, so we're gonna copy this custom render into our um, Android folder right here. Um, so let me see if I can actually copy the exact same file, if that's going to work. Uh, so I'm going to copy here the label render from my Xamarin.Forms Android project. Um, and I'm going to go over to my Maui thing here and I'm going to copy this into my platforms Android project. Um, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is add a new class. I'm gonna also name this the label renderer. There we go. And I'll just copy the content, right? That's just as easy. Um, of course, on the file system, you can just copy that thing over, um, which is much easier. I'm gonna copy this whole thing like this. Um, which is, you know, typically not something that you want to do, but just to illustrate a little point here. Um, so what is this saying here? Oh, I'm, I'm changing code now while it's actually running. That might be also the case why I couldn't actually copy the file. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so let me just copy this thing here. And I, the, the one thing that I want to get from here is the namespace. So let me get that. Um, here we go, so I get the right namespace and I can delete all the rest here, so then we should be good. So I copied my render now here one-on-one um, -on -one, and it's just here. Actually, let me stop this so it doesn't keep showing me here all this um, squigglies and stuff. Um, so now there's a lot of stuff that it, that it doesn't recognize, right? Because Xamarin Forms is not a thing anymore. Um, also, this namespace was for my old app, so that kind of makes sense. Um, so there's a lot of Xamarin Form stuff in here that we can't reference because Xamarin Forms isn't here anymore. So kind of the only thing we need to do here is change these namespaces. Um, so what we have is using uh, Microsoft. Maui, there we go, whoops, Maui. And we're probably gonna need the controls because you know in the controls is probably the label, so now it already knows the label. Um, then we also need using Microsoft.Maui.Platform. Uh, it knows something about the platform, oops, sorry, controls.platform, I think, what is it? Controls.platform, uh, there we go. And um, now it knows some more stuff. And uh, then we also need to bring in the compatibility because that's the way this works, right? The Xamarin Forms team or the .NET MAUI team has introduced some kind of compatibility layer that will take your renderer, interpret what's there and translate that into like the new architecture for you automatically. Um, so we need kind of this compatibility layer in between, but that is built in so we can just use Microsoft.MAUI.Controls.Compatibility. There we go. Um, so now this brings in the compatibility stuff and kind of like the last thing we need is then um, the compatibility stuff also is like, you know, a, a little bit platform dependent. Um, so we also have like the compatibility for um, Android right here, right? So that brings in um, kind of like all the, the Android specific bits here. Um, so there is one other thing um, because it still doesn't know my label renderer here. So I'm going to use this. Um, thing and replace the old namespace right here. So then it should know that one as well. Um, and I can remove all these bits. And then there's one thing it doesn't recognize, which is the label render. So let's see what's up with that. Um, oh, actually, so here you go. So um, um, I might have gotten the wrong one. Oh, so I needed to do the DAW platform here. See, it's a little bit of a challenge to get all these namespaces right here. 
Um, oh, I need this compatibility for the export render. Okay, let's just IntelliSense fix this. So let's see, it says like for Android or the fast render. So if you were paying attention, actually, let me go over to the other render. You can see that I was using the fast render. Because, so this is also a thing from the past, luckily, right? Because Xamarin Forms had this concept of fast renders for Android, which were a bit optimized to um, render faster because there were some uh, performance issues with that. Um, for .NET MAUI, that all is fixed. But a thing that you need to note is if you're using the fast renderer here, if you're um, using a custom renderer for that fast renderer, you also want to um, use that compatibility for that same fast renderer here. Um, so if we go here to the IntelliSense, you can see we have like using uh, MAUI controls compatibility platform Android or Android.FastRenderer. So let's do that. And if we bring in that, then boom, all the squigglies are gone and we can just use that. Now, the last thing, already the last thing, we're almost already done, is this assembly thing. So it's kind of a technical thing, but I think most of you just added this because you had to, right? Um, so you would add this and it would pick up on um, 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 the um, renders, it would pick up on your application. And what this does is it says, export this renderer and it's going to render labels and it's going to use this my label renderer um, that I have here to render these labels that I've specified here. Um, but what this does is actually at kind of runtime, it scans all these assemblies for these tags and that is a really slow process. So we don't want to do that anymore. We can, we, we can get rid of this. Um, so, oh, so actually now a couple of these <laughs> usings are then also obsolete. So boom, I can re uh, remove those. Uh, maybe um, it, because it still knows the export render, maybe it even still works. But if you want to get a little bit of performance gain here as well, um, just remove that tag and we go into our solution explorer. And this time we go to our startup CS, which is new in um, .NET MAUI applications. And we can here say um, somewhere in this chain, use .NET MAUI app, and I'm going to say configure MAUI handlers, there we go, configure MAUI handlers. And what we need to do in there is say handlers, we have to um, put that in here as a Lambda expression, um, a couple of curly braces here. And then we can, um, we, we have to kind of like do it with this with if, um, and we have the Android here, you can also specify Android for a specific version, but I think there's also like the generic Android one. So we can detect if we're running on the Android platform. And of course, the and if right here. Um, and now we have like this code is only going to be run for Android, right? Because everything is in a single project. So we kind of need to differentiate how to um, 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 have specific code for Android or iOS. You can do this in a different way. If you want to know how, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video on that as well, because there is another way where you can like more cleanly separate everything in separate files. Uh, but for now, I'm going to use these compiler hints as they call them. Um, and then you can say, handlers dot add compatibility render or compatibility renderer so you can add more um, um, in one go um, but I'm just gonna have this one here so add compatibility render and I can say for type of you have to do that kind of like the same thing type of label um, so it's going to render for the labels right here and what I'm going to do is say type of um, and I have to specify the renderer. So this is kind of like what you would do for like the export renderer for the assembly level, right? So I'm going to say here, Maui um, custom render sample dot, it should come up here, um, dot, what is it, dot Android? Where is, where is this thing? Um, dot platforms dot Android. Okay, here we go. So let me just copy this one. Boom, and it should be here, my label renderer. There we go. Now it knows about it. Um, so there we go. Um, add this renderer. I think I got all the uh, closing brackets here. So and this is all you need to do add compatibility render. And now I should be able to just run this again on my Android emulator. Um, and we didn't change any functional code in our renderer. Um, and I can just restart my Maui application and we will see that there is an error. That's interesting. So what is this error The type or namespace label could not be found? Oh, of course. So um, I need to now also have this label in here. So what I probably want to do is using Microsoft.maui.controls. And now it also knows about my label. So let's just rerun this again. And it will actually show up for 
by label. Now again, um, I think uh, if I remember correctly from like uh, Visual Studio for Mac, you could say, oh, maybe I can do it like this. There we go. Um, so I say Android, boom, and I switch to the Android target. And now you can see that it actually gives me the squigglies and also probably better IntelliSense. So I should have done this before. Um, it still doesn't know about the label, is that correct? I think it's still building, so I think it's actually going to come up here in a moment and show you these nice labels with a light green background. Here we go, the application is coming back up and yes, there we go. So you can see it messes a little with um, uh, maybe some other things. This is probably because mostly um, some layout stuff uh, that's going on with .NET and MAUI, which is still in the preview bits as we're running this. Uh, but you can see um, that it actually applies these light green layout uh, backgrounds to all of our stuff right here. So I didn't touch any code that is really functional inside of this um, custom renderer, but it can be used with um, just a couple of lines of code change in your .NET MAUI app as well. Now, like I said, if you have like an iOS renderer as well, you would basically like copy this thing. Uh, of course, copy the, the iOS renderer, do kind of the same thing. And then we would have like another block here with um, if we probably have the same thing for iOS, there we go. Um, and we can just add this compatibility render with like the name for the iOS one, right? And then it will also work on iOS. So that is how you can reuse your custom renderers without any change for .NET MAUI and make that transition to a .NET MAUI app much, much easier. If you're doing this for the first time, it might take a little bit getting used to with the new namespaces and all the new things going on here. But you know, I think if you have done a couple, then it should be much, much easier. Uh, I also linked a repository down below in the video description by Javier, who is actually on the .NET MAUI team. And he's providing all kinds of samples from converting your custom renders to handlers, using your custom renders in a .NET MAUI app, um, converting your effects, behaviors, kind of like all the conversion scenarios that you would might need um, from Xamarin Forms to .NET Maui, so go check that out. And I will be making videos on each one of them. So don't worry if you like to watch the videos more than actually reading yourself. Um, so um, this is pretty cool, right? You can just use that custom render in .NET MAUI without too much hassle, which will make your transition much, much easier from Xamarin Forms to .NET MAUI. You just have that list of uh, things in there with a compatibility re render. Um, and as you go convert your renderers to handlers, which will be another video probably, let me know down in the video uh, in the comments, not the video description, um, um, if you want to see that. And you can one by one convert those renderers and get the block out of there in your startup TS. Um, and whenever they're all gone, then suddenly you have a .NET MAUI native app. So how cool is that? Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click that like button if you've actually liked this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.